Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to do a very lot code for 3 bits uh, up counter in model sim. So the first step uh, in model sim, you have to create a new project by clicking file new project and then you have to name the project up counter for example and then you click ok so it will create a new project and there are no items in this project so we have to create a new file in this project and name it as up counter so and the file type we have to change it to very log because we are using a very log code click ok then you can close this one so it will create an up counter.v file in this project so we have to edit by right click and edit the file and put the very log code so for this example i have already uh, prepared the very log code for 3 bits up counter so i will just need to copy and paste it into the file okay so the name of the module is the up, count, up underscore counter and there are four variables which are out, enable, clock and reset so the, for the output box uh, the output to zero because we are using 3 bits uh, if, you are, you, if you want to use a 8 bit you, have to, you just have to change it to 7 this one you should have to change to 7 but this one you have to change 8 this one also you have to change 8 but in my case I'm using a 3 bits only so I'm going to change back to 3 this one 3 this one 2 this one 2 ok then you have to save the very lot code in this file by clicking the save button and then you can close this window so after that you have to compile this file by sell by right click the file compile and compile the selected so you just have to wait until the until it was stated here compile of up counter dot v was successful okay then go to the library and under the work section there are module which we are already uh, initialize it in the very lot code which up underscore counter but if you name the module as inverter for example it will appear as inverter here so to simulate the module just right click the up counter and simulate so view wave to see the wave or to see the output and then the signals signals is is change the input ok so these three are the input uh, which are the enable, clock and reset and this one is the output so the first thing we have to select all the input and the output and drag into the wave ok so it will give us the output 0 0 0 but we change the clock and we can if run the simulation that it will give a clock okay if you if you see uh, the very lock code okay sorry if you see we initialize the output to be zero all zero so you can see the output will be zero but if you initialize the output to be out equals to 3 base 0, 0, 001 then the initial output will be 0, 0, 001 okay so for the next statement for the sorry for the next line always uh, the the output will always kill or change at the positive edge of the clock which is here okay so yeah if you see the very lock code as you can see if reset begin out less than equal 3 bit 0 this means that if this statement true then all the output will reset to 0 okay but if this statement is false 
that you will go to the next line which is else if and above begin out less than equals to out plus 1 the output will plus 1 so for example here if we enable this one we change our faucet to 1 and then the reset we change to 0 which means the statement here will be false and as you can see if we run the simulation then the output will increase by 1 if you want run again then it will increase 1 if we run until 1 1 1 okay this is the maximum and if you run again then it will go back to 0 0 0 because we are using only 3 bits okay so if we run uh, 2 or 3 times again so the output will be 0 1 1, one as you can see but in this coding if the reset enable if the reset enable or begin the output will be 0 the output will reset to 0 for example we, this one we change to 1 this remain the 1 this means reset st1 this means that this statement is true then the output will be reset to 0 if you run the simulation then the output will become 0